So this video is really just to give you the, the basic understanding of your pool chemicals and, and what they're gonna do for you. Uh, first one obviously is gonna be your sanitizer, which is gonna be chlorine. Uh, there's many different ways that you can introduce chlorine into your pool. You can do that with a liquid chlorine, a granular chlorine, or even a uh, with tablets. Uh, the one thing with tablets is they do have stabilizer in those, which we will discuss later on. So if you're using a large abundance of those tablets, that will increase your stabilizer as well. But again, we'll come back to that. With your chlorine, ideally you want your levels to be about three parts per million. You can be a little less, a little bit more, but that is that range go that you're looking for. And a lot of times with your salt pools, um, which has a salt generator generating chlorine, you can actually have those a little bit lower. So that is just the basic concept. That chlorine is there at those levels to help protect, fight bacteria, algae, those type of things. It's going to sanitize your pool. The next one to think about that's important is your pH. pH usually uh, technically can have a range from zero to 14. Um, the lower it is, the more acidic it is, the higher, the more basic it is. The goal that you're really looking for for uh, pH is to be between 7.2 and 7.8. So the ideal range is at 7.4, 7.6. If you go too high, you can create scaling on equipment, your pool and different things. If you go too low, again, you create that acidic, which you can start uh, doing harm to, again, equipment, uh, metal parts of the pool, and even the walls of your pool. Uh, next one we're gonna talk about is alkalinity. Alkalinity is more of a buffer for your pH. In other words, if your alkalinity is out of balance, your buffer is going to be fluctuating and dancing all over the place and it's gonna be harder to maintain. Those alkalinity readings that you want are anywhere between 80 and 100 parts per million. You don't want too low, you don't want too high. Very basic when it comes to alkalinity. Uh, next is your calcium hardness. With calcium hardness, you're looking for a 200 to a 400 parts per million. Now with calcium hardness, if it's way too low and you have a plaster type pool, you're going to pull that calcium out of that plaster because that's what that water is wanting and you're gonna lose that longevity of that plaster. If you have it too high, you now start creating that scaling effect and your pool's just not gonna look right. So those again are some of the factors there. The next one is CYA, your stabilizer. Um, I like to say, look at CYA as a sunscreen to your chlorine. Meaning if your CYA is too low, not enough in there, it can't protect the tablets so the sun is going to eat away your chlorine in your pool very quickly. If your CYA is too high, it's too much sunscreen over those tablets and it's not allowing them to work uh, the way they want to. What are those ranges you're looking for? Usually around 30 to 50 parts per million is a good CYA on a standard chlorine type pool. And if you've got a salt pool, again, remember salt can have a little bit lower on the chlorine side you want that to be around the 60, 80 parts per million. So those are just the basics of what those chemicals do. They're all important at the end of the day. Um, it just comes down to what you have. The beauty is with all these chemicals, they are very effective for a plaster pool, a fiberglass pool, and also a vinyl liner pool. If you can get away with calcium hardness for say on a fiberglass and vinyl being a little too low, um, it's not going to impact it as much as a plaster pool, but the more balanced those readings are, that's what's going to help everything else when it comes to your chemicals. Now that you understand the basics of those chemicals, well, let's talk a little bit about how you need to possibly raise or lower any of those. With your chlorine, again, if you need to raise it, then you need to add or introduce some type of chlorine uh, to that pool. If you need to lower it, you need to stop introducing whatever is there and let the sun and the bacteria and algae will, will already bring it down on its own. When it comes to pH, if you need to raise that up, you can do a pH up and buy that uh, in any of your local stores or have your professional uh, pool service company do that for you. And if you need to lower it, you're going to use pool acid and that's going to lower that, those levels down. If it's with alkalinity and you need to raise it, you can use sodium bicarb or it's baking soda and that will bring that up. The other thing too with uh, 
uh, alkalinity and lowering it is it also utilizes pool acid to bring it down. So that will work. When it comes to your calcium hardness, you're gonna add uh, calcium to that pool. You can get it in different percentages, anywhere from like an 86 or a 94. But again, your local store or your pool professional can help you with that. That you can add to help bring it up. If your calcium is too high, uh, the best way to bring it down is you need to uh, lower the level of your pool and introduce uh, more tap water. Now, depending on where you live, your tap water may already be high or it could be really low. I've seen uh, in Texas where it's at 90 in certain areas and I've seen up in Utah where they're already at 200 and something. Um, so it just depends on where you're at and what kind of water you're putting back into that pool. When it comes to your stabilizer, it's similar to the calcium, meaning we can add more stabilizer, more cyanuric acid to bring those levels up, but we don't have anything to bring it down. So again, you're either going to need to add fresh water or drain down the pool and then add fresh water. If your CYA and calcium are really high, you may be better off doing a complete pool drain. Let your professional come in and do that. While you have it drained, you could potentially do an acid wash and kind of give it a facelift to that plaster, if you will, and then fill it back up and that's gonna give you uh, a fresh water to work with. We have many of these question and answer series videos on getting pools and everything pool related and our pool show. Please like and subscribe to the channel and click the link below to go ahead and contact one of our designers to come on out and take a look.